Okay, so in our last video, you guys wanted to know how we met. So we decided to do of like her point of view and my point of view perspective. <laughs> so like I'll go first and tell my side of the story of how we met, and then she'll go second and tell her story. What the fuck is my so, point of view perspective? So we agreed. That's the same thing. We agreed on not interrupting each other. So like if she says something I don't agree with, I can't say anything and like tell her like, you know what it happened like this, and then same thing for her. Okay, but everything okay. he's gonna say. So no, it is, is not a off. lie. Okay, it's gonna be off. <laughs> so we met at the fair. Uh, no, a fair I wasn't supposed to go to because I didn't want to, but then my madrina was over in my place, and then she was like, "Want to go to the fair?" And I was like, "Nah, I, re I really don't want to." And then she was like, "Nah, come on, let's go." So me and I called my cousins, and my madrina and my brothers. We all went to the fair. And we were on this ride, the swings that go around. Um, and then I feel this tap on my shoulder. And I turn around and into this dude. He was like, bro, she thinks you're cute. And I wasn't supposed to end up with her. It wasn't her that thought I was cute. It was friend number one. I think it was ugly as fuck. <laughs> so it was friend number one that I was supposed to end up with. And she was sitting next to friend number one. And I was like, all right, bro, tell her thanks. And tell her I said thanks. And then when we got off, when we got off the ride, they started following me around like a whole group. And then we got to this uh, ride. Okay, so there was her, friend number one, the one I was supposed to end up with, and friend number two. You were supposed to end up with friend number two. Hmm? You were supposed to end up with friend number two. No, friend number one is is. is. Yeah, you were supposed to end up. Oh shit. <laughs> Okay, uh, anyways. <laughs> so there was... Okay, so, hold on. Let me tell you, name okay. the people. Because they were with me. You didn't have nobody. Okay, it was alone. I mean... Okay, baby, go. There was friend number one. Friend number two. There was two guys. And another girl, I think. And then there was the guys' girlfriend. Or one of the guys' girlfriend. So it was like... Seven people with me but he only had he only had his brother and his cousins and all that so. okay so um i was supposed to end up with friend number two friend number two and we went we went we came to this ride where there's two rows of seats and then it goes up and over and over and then i was sitting in the front row and then friend number one was sitting next to me and i was on my phone and then she saw me on Instagram and I was like, oh, you have Instagram? And I was like, yeah. They were like, you should follow me. So she looked her name up. She, she looked friend number one's name up and friend number two, two's name up. And then she looked up her Instagram. And then they liked all the pictures, all, all that. Oh, yeah. And then um, we, get off the, we get, got off the ride. And then we came to another ride. So, you know, I migrated into the group. I was like, you might as well, I might as well just walk with them. And then uh, we came to the zipper. Which is a caged bar, and it's like, it's like it's a caged bar, and it goes like it tumbles all like in a circle. It tumbles up, and it tumbles backwards, and then it tumbles forward, and it's loose and just spins. So you're just spinning inside, oh, and then something? um no, and then uh I was riding with friend number one. Two, 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 one. Friend number one. Friend number one. Friend number one. The, the, she was pulled, just a, he pulled a hoe as move, and I don't even know why I'm with him right now because. But anyways, continue. <laughs> anyways, I was friend number one. And friend number one was just a friend. Like, I was supposed to end up with two. And number one was just like, she was just there. But I rode with her. And I'm not going to lie. I, I was I was flirting. I was flirting because, you know, I was I was being a hoe. I was flirting and I was like, I was pulling hoe moves. And I was just, I was throwing the sauce out and then uh we get off the ride and then we came to another ride oh and all during that while she was talking to me about the friend i was supposed to end up with she was like oh she's a good girl she's a good girl she's a good girlfriend stuff like that you know and then we came after we got off that ride we went to another ride which was planes the mini planes and um i rode with her I rode with her that one, and I did the same shit. I was flirting, 
uh, throwing saws, hoeing. I was doing all that, he, but she was going for it. Like she was, she was, she was into it. Like I'm you. not gonna lie, she was into it. I okay. was into it. And then we got off this ride, and then we went to the we went to the the boat, the sea boat. Oh my god, the sea boat. And then okay, <laughs> so the sea boat has like long rows of benches, and there's like multiple benches. If you sit all the way at the end and all the way at the front of the boats, it goes the highest. And we sat like in the towards the middle ish, and I sat next to her. And I this and then her friend sat next to me, and I was like, oh um. I was like, who should I spit game to? <laughs> and I was like, I'm gonna spit game to her. So I was just talking and then I pulled, I held her hand. I held her hand, but her I grabbed the bag. She grabbed my <laughs> hand back. So we were holding hands and then one of her friends saw we were holding hands. It wasn't the friend I was supposed to end up with, but she saw it. And then we got off the ride and her friend went up to her and whispered in her ear. <laughs> And then I was like, oh, she saw. And then after that, I don't know what we did because I had to go. You threw up. Oh, hell yeah. I threw up because that bitch made me throw up. That shit, I threw up. I spit up my tacos. I swear to God, because I had two tacos. They all just came out. I tasted, I, I tasted cilantro. <laughs> and uh, after that, I had to go. So I was like, yeah, just I got to go and stuff. <laughs> A couple of days later. <laughs> she hits me up. She uh, wait, wait, me, no, no, that's no, my no, part no. of the story, though. No, I want to say, say all the story. No. no okay, so <laughs> that's my you, part of the story. Okay, no, no. Anyway, okay. a couple of days later, she hits me up. She's like, "Hey, hey, hey, hey." I don't no, hey. no, no. You said hey, and I said hey. Oh. Yeah. So she said hey, I said hey. We started conversating, and I didn't know who she was at first until she until she told me she was at the fair. I was like, "Oh, I remember you." And then she was like, yeah, um, you left my friend hanging, something like that. And I was like, oh, I'll tell her I said sorry. And then she was like, she was like, what'd you say? You were like, ah, oh, I'll think about it. What? I remember that shit because you were like, I was like, tell her I said sorry. And then you're like, ah, oh, I'll think about it. <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> we started just texting back and forth. <laughs> and then her ass catches feelings. I didn't. She catches feelings. Well, she caught feelings. When we were at the fair, she told me later no, on. No, that was that was my that's my turn. Okay, that's my turn to okay, say the okay, story. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, we'll continue. Okay, so we'll come to a stop, and then we'll continue after the fair later on. Right now, she's gonna tell her part of the story from the fair. Okay, it was for me, friend number one, friend number two, and friend. Yeah, so it was three. Uh, it was just the three of us for a while, and then there was these other two dudes, and the dude, one dude had like a girlfriend. And I think there was another girl. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't remember. But I remember we were at the ride that, like, the thing that you said that it was like that, mm -hmm. that went up like that. And then um, I saw him because he was standing outside the zipper. No, I didn't even see you. It was this other girl. Well, I think it was friend number two who was like, hey, look at that dude right there. And you were wearing, like, maroon or something or, like, purple or something like that. And I looked at you, but I didn't see your face. So I was like, oh, he looks cute. Like, from behind. So then, so then we got off the ride. And then he had left. And we didn't see him. I didn't, oh yeah. Because I didn't see him until later. It was like six. And then he was, we were going to ride the little seat thing that spins. You know what it's called? Do you know what it's called? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's like seats that spin. And we're going to ride that. And we were right behind him. And, friend, uh, and it wasn't friend it was this one dude who i was like i was like oh dude look cute. this dude looks cute and then he tried to push me into him and i almost like crashed into him but like i like stopped myself okay and then like and then what he said like the dude tried to talk to her and talk to i can't talk because i'm fucking racist me. okay so the dude like what he said like he tried to like talk like get him with friend number two and then after that i remember that you did not we were not following you around you little lying ass he went he he stayed with us we didn't even invite him he stayed with us i swear because he was like and i have i have some people that can back me up on this and um okay so 
he stayed with us and then this girl she threw up do you remember she threw up and then um then i threw up no that was later babe okay. so she threw up and then that's when you went on the ride with friend number one and then i don't know where i went I don't know what I was doing. After he got off ride number with friend number one, he went. Um, friend number one came up to me, and he was. She was like, "Oh, he was flirting with me and stuff like that." So then I was like, "Oh, so he kind of a hoe." And, and then he, and then we went on that thing that like goes like around. It's like a skater thing. You know what I'm talking about? And um. <clears throat> He went on friend number two, and then me and friend me and friend number one were just looking to see what he was doing, cause that's the friend that he was supposed to end up with. So then we were looking, and he was getting all close to her and shit like that, pulling his hoe ass. And after that, that's when we went into what's that game called? The thing that you said. The sea boat. No, the planes. The planes. We, me and him went on the planes, and then. Okay, guys. So. Loud, loud. <laughs> okay, so. I was talking to this other dude, and well, I was—it wasn't talking because we weren't talking because we were fighting, but it was just like, like flirting, like you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, and then um, and then so I asked him for a picture. I was like, hey, let's take a picture because I was trying to make the other guy mad, like you know. You gotta think. So then, I, so then he's like, all right, but I was just trying to take a picture of him, like I wasn't trying to be in it. But then he was, he he took the phone and he went like that. Remember that? Remember that? He went Wait, come on. <laughs> and then um yeah, so he took the picture and then he he acted like he was gonna like throw my phone, like drop my phone. I was like, don't dude, don't play with me or something like that. And then he's like, what'd you say? You speak game. You were like, you're like, and what are you gonna do about it? And I then he got, he, okay, so he was like that, right? And then he got like this all close to me and stuff. <laughs> he got all close to me and then I was, your girl was gonna kiss him. I'm not even gonna lie. I was, cause he was like this, okay, so you were like, and he was like, what are you gonna do about it? And I was gonna kiss him, but then I was like, nah. So I just turned away and then. <laughs> And then we got off, and then my the dude, one of the dudes was like, oh shit, I seen that, because he didn't ride the ride. So he was like, okay, I seen that, and I was like, and then after that, that's when we went onto the little boat thingy. And that's when he um he grabbed my hand, but at first I thought like that was like an accident, you know? But then he like started going like, look at him, he started going like that. So then I was like, all right, so then I closed my hand. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, and then I seen my friend, oh, not my friend, but like friend number one, she seen, and then she was like, and then when we got off the ride, she seen that, like she whispered into my ear, and then she was like, oh, I seen that, but he was flirting with me at the zipper. In the zipper. That's when she told me that, so I was like, oh, so he's kind of a hoe. And then, that, but you were throwing up during this whole thing. He was throwing up. And then, so then, we took a picture, me, him, and the friend number three. Two. Two. Oh yeah, me, him, friend number one, friend number three. Two. <laughs> and then, and you gave everybody hugs, and then he hugged me, and then. At that I moment, went. she was hugged as fuck. <laughs> Tell him that. <laughs> Tell him that, don't lie. I was not. Okay, fine, I was. <laughs> okay, so anyway, so I went home. And this other girl, she texted me and she was like, is that Memo? And then I was like, I was like, yeah. And then he's, I was like, you know him? And he was like, yeah, he plays with Pumas. So, and me and some of the guys from Pumas kind of have a little pass. So I was like, what? Okay, only one guy from that team. Okay, stop. Okay, go. Uh, and then, um, yeah, so and I was like, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> but I still texted him anyways. I made up this little ass excuse and I was like, oh, so I heard you play with Pumas. And I was like, do you know my brother? That's the excuse I made to, talk, I know to text was, him. Because he wasn't on the team. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then and then he kept on flirting with me and stuff. And then, so then your girl got feelings. She already had feelings. I didn't have. Fuck you. 
<laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so then I caught feelings, and then he, you guys want to know the whole ass part? He broke my little heart. Yeah, I hope your mom sees this. He broke my heart, and then he, okay, so it was around August that, no, in September that he stopped talking to me, and then, like, Two months later, he had a girl. It was a month. You didn't fucking wait two months. He, he had a, another girlfriend. And me and this friend tried the hardest shit to try to find her. <laughs> Cause like we already knew her name and stuff like that, but we couldn't find her like on Instagram, and we were being like FBI's. You know what I mean? <laughs> but we never fucking found her. And I still haven't found her. That bitch don't got nothing. She does. I'll show you after. Oh, okay. Uh, anyways, um, yeah. So then, I didn't talk to anybody. <laughs> Wait. Okay. <laughs> I didn't talk to anybody for like five months. Oh my ass. Hold on. Okay. I didn't talk to anybody for like six, five, six months until my fr stop. Okay, you don't even know. Okay, shut up. I was all broken hearted over you. <laughs> Anyways, so then she, um, my friends were all like, oh, just move on, just move on, like, heel ho and stuff like that. So then this dude texted me, because I used to go to soccer shop, and then this dude texted me from there. And then he was like, oh, like, I see, no, he was like, oh, like, that's me, because I took a video of, like, them playing, but I didn't know him. So then he was like, oh, like, that's me and stuff. So then he tried, so then me and him started talking, not, like, talking, but, like, <laughs> She fell, but like friend talking, and then and then she he tried to do it something more, but I, my little ass still couldn't do it because of that whole ass right here. So then I broke that off, and then and then let's see, and then around March is when I did start. No, around April is when I did start dating someone, and um and then. And then me and him were still not talking during all this. So then I thought I had gotten over him. Oh yeah, so then he texted me around carnival time. <laughs> what? When you, did that happen? What the fuck? You said we couldn't interrupt each other. Anyways, so then he hit me up and then he asked to start a streak. <laughs> Stop rolling your eyes. <laughs> I asked to start a streak. Yeah, no, you, you know I did started not. the streak. No, I did not. On God, <laughs> on everything I love, she's texting me to start a streak. Okay, fine, I did. But I didn't. Th I thought I was over him, okay? Because I had a new band and stuff like that. Uh, so then, um, yeah. So then we and then and then stuff started happening in my other relationship. In my other relationship. <laughs> Shit, other relationship. <laughs> in my uh, previous, previous, in my previous relationship. So then I started venting to him, and then he started venting to me about his relationship problems. So then, um, what's it called? Uh, yeah. So then, so then, like we just kind of like confined in each other, I guess. And then one day at a quince. <laughs> Do you remember this? We pulled the I pulled the slickest shit. Okay, so um her boyfriend knew cause she was gonna do something with her friend and they never done it before, so they wanted me to like lead them through it. That was just like Okay, anyways. Fucking... Anyways, um her boyfriend texted me and he was like, Bro, I know you guys are gonna go over there and then I know you guys are gonna do that and I, I just want you to know that I love her with all my heart. And uh, babe, babe, feel I love her with all my heart, and I trust her with you. <laughs> I replied with, "Okay, bro. Uh, yeah, I got you." And then uh, we went to the quince, and we went to go do whatever we're doing. We came back. That sounds so sketchy. We came back, and um, I was just chilling. Right? We we split. We split. When we went back to the building, we split, and I was chilling with my friends. And then we weren't all there. And then um, they were like, one of my friends, she said, go dance with the Leah. And I was like, sure, fuck it. 
I didn't want to. I mean, I did not want. No, I didn't want to. I even told. I know. I told her. I was like, I was like, no one's gonna be weird. But like, I like that song. Like I was just uh, obsessed with that song. So then I was like, you know what? Okay. Okay. So he danced and um, yeah, shit changed. <laughs> So we got close as fuck when we were dancing. So naturally, you're supposed to dance like, you know, this is body with like one body, two bodies, and just moving, right? That's us. We were like fucking this. All right. Her legs was in between my legs. And we were dancing. And, and then we stopped dancing. And after a while, I went home. That was like the only dance we danced. But then like, after, the day after that, she no, texted wait, wait, wait. me. Okay. Before I, cause I left first, and I was, and I went up to him. You don't remember? I went up to you. Oh yeah, and, you said and bye. I was gonna say bye, and I was gonna give him a hug, but this other dude pulled me away. Remember that? Yeah. So I, I didn't get to say bye, so I just left, and then. Okay, continue. And then um, yeah, the other, the next day, she texted me. This long ass paragraph, like that was her thing. She would text these long ass paragraphs. It still but is. I should still, become an author, bro. I mean, not really. She doesn't do it as much, but she'll do it once in a while. And um, yeah, but shit, she cute. and I always screenshot her, her um, her paragraphs. I always did. I have the first one she ever sent me. Aww. And this one, this one said, "Look, uh, I know you have a girlfriend and all that, and I know we're just friends, and I know I have a boyfriend, and then uh, I'm gonna respect that. And then, I mean, I'll put the screenshot. I'll put the paragraph. No, 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 okay, no, 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 no. Anyway, she said, uh, and I respect that. And then uh, she said, but I still have feelings for you. She said, after six months, I don't know why I can't let go, but I still have feelings for you." That shit hit. That shit hit me. And then I started thinking about it. And then the day after that, it was my birthday. So my previous girl had given me a present already. So I was like, a present. My present already. So I was like, oh, okay. So um, the next day was a school day. And that shit was on my mind. And I was just thinking about it. She wrote me a paragraph. I read it. The next day was school. And um, that shit was on my mind. And I was thinking about it. And I guess my previous girlfriend... Was saw me that I was thinking about it, and she asked me, "Hey, what's wrong?" And I explained everything. I explained the whole story, and yeah, we just split and just became friends. Even though we're not friends, because <laughs> I see her and you know it's awkward. So yeah, and we became friends, and then me and her started talking again. Cause she broke up with her boyfriend. She broke his heart, babe. You uh, broke your girl's heart too. Okay. Anyways, I'm sorry. Anyways, um. We started talking again, and then shit escalated from that. No, I'll and then you, I you? was I was still hoeing around, you know, because the I was okay. Classic you guys, memo. You guys gotta like listen. Like I was still hoeing around. I was in that age where like you know it was females, 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 right? No, I fucking wasn't. He was just a hoe. And then um, and then I was hoeing around, and then the summertime was I just pimping season. See. The summertime was pimp season, okay. It was just like one, two, three, four. How many females are in my store? See, like that. Okay. And then it was towards the end of the summer where me and her got heavy talking. No, okay. We're going to tell them how okay, you. Okay, tell how you. This nigga had me crying so much. you going to tell him that? Tell him that. No, you tell him that. Bro. No, I tell, him, no, that. tell him that. Tell him that. Apparently, I had her crying. Apparently. Cause... Okay, so okay, this one. Right. Okay. This, let me tell you guys a story. Especially. This one, like, it kind of, like, hit me, hit me. Okay, so, uh, we were at a quince. And he was over here being a whole-ass nigga, dancing with all types of girls. But then he got mad at me when the nigga came up to me and asked me to dance. No, I didn't. I just kept on dancing with other females. Anyways. And so, then we talked about it the next day. Wait, she, babe. That, that's not, when that's... you didn't say bye, remember? Okay, go. Yeah, I wouldn't. He tried hugging me when I was leaving, and I wanted to punch him so bad, guys. Like... Anyways, so before I left, I was in the car with this dude. No, not like that sounds bad, but like this dude was older than me, babe. Okay, go ahead. He's like hello. No, he's not hella older than me, but he's like older than me. And then I, cause I started crying and I just started crying. And then he was like, he was like, oh, like what's wrong and stuff. And then yeah, so then I just like poured everything out. And then um. 
Yeah, so then he was like, he was really sweet. He was like, he was like, oh, like, if he's like that, then why are you still with him and stuff like that? And then he was like, he was like, you're so pretty. Like, you got dimples and everything. Like, like, you're going to, like, at, oh, fuck, it's getting hot. And he was like, um, you're going into high school. Like, you know how many niggas you're going to pull and stuff like that. So then after I fucking cried my heart out, I went back to the Kingston. I called my brother. And then he came and picked me up. And then, um, oh yeah, that's when I was leaving and I wanted to punch him. But then I just left and then. And then the next day after, she texted me about all this. And then I te we talked about it. And yeah, apparently she cried. Apparently. I mean, I guess she did cry. And then we talked about it and then, um, and then we started heavy talking, like heavy, heavy talking. Like I wasn't pimping no more. I mean, okay, so I was halfway. Okay, so I was, I was more towards her side though, cause I was still pimping, but like slowly moving. And then I started playing soccer. And she went over to my games and stuff. Oh yeah, okay, so one time we went to the movies and it was the first time that we ever went to the movies. And then I <laughs> I remember that I was, I was like, my expectation, expect, expectations, we're low as fuck. Like I was like, no, like it's just like it's gonna be boring as fuck. That's why I didn't want to go. But then my friend was like, just go. So then I, we ended up go. So I ended up going. And then Tom. Is that the I love you part? No, that's the first. Oh, when I kissed. Yeah. Okay, so we were watching movies, right? And um, I was like, I'm I'm a so big game. And we were fighting. Okay, so at the theaters, it's a seat, a seat, and then in the middle is like an armrest. But that armrest lifts up, so it's a, like one big combined seat. So we were fighting over that because I had it first, and then like she was like she was trying to move my arm. I had so it first. She was trying to move the arm, so she had her hand on it, and I was like, you know what? Fuck it, we're just gonna raise it up. I was being slick as fuck, and I was like, you know what? We're just gonna raise it up. And then my ass put my arm around her, like I, I put my arm around her, and I brought her in, and she didn't know what the fuck was happening. She was lost. I was so lost. And then a couple minutes later on, later on into the movie, I kissed her. No, you started tickling me first. Oh, shit. Yeah, I started tickling her. I started tickling her, right? And then that tickling became into kissing. Yeah. And then after that shit, we were just she basically cuddling, right? We were basically acting like in a relationship. And yeah, the movie ended. I said goodbye. I kissed her again. I kissed her again and just, you know, goodbye. And then yeah, your turn. Oh yeah, and then oh god, I don't want to say this. I went home and I was happy as fuck. Like I texted my whole females and I told them what happened. And then um, what else? Um, yeah. And then and then like forward like all that summer. And then October. Uh, ask them. Tell them how you asked me out. And then. We went to the movies and we, oh my God. So we were heavy talking, heavy, heavy, heavy talking. And then I was at my game. I was playing and she was just, she wanted to go see me. And we were playing, I was playing. And then uh, after the game, the varsity played because I was on JV and the varsity played. So we stayed and watched the varsity and her friend was there. And my friend was talking to her friend at the time. They were talking and then uh, her friend and my friend were talking and then we were talking and then she was like, let me see your phone. Oh, yeah, because my friend was like, check his phone, check his phone to see if he's being loyal. And then so she and was, was like, like, let me see right. your, she was like, let me see your phone. And I was like, okay, here, here, check my phone. Oh, is that your girl? They did some deep ass searching. I swear to God, they went from chats all the way to July. And they saw that I was talking to three, two, how many females were in my store? <laughs> three or two girls. That I was flirting, you know, how hoeing with. And that shit hurt her. And she ran into the bathroom. And then me and her friend followed her to the bathroom. But I was just on the outside, you know, because she went into the girl bathroom. Yes, yes, yes. She went into the girl bathroom and I couldn't go in there. But then I told her friend, hey, go in there and check if anybody's in there. She went in there. She came out. She was like, no, nobody's in there. I was like, all right, watch the door. I went inside. I went inside the bathroom and I hopped over the stalls. She was, was hiding. I was locked into the. She was locked into the stall and then I hopped over the stall, 
And then I was like, okay, I'm sorry. I, I explained all this shit. And then I asked her out. I asked her out in the stall. At school, on the girls. In the, the girls, girls bathroom too. stall. That's where I asked her out. But she said yes. She could have said no. I was thinking of saying no. I was like, I was like, should I say no? No, because I was like, I was like, I was looking at him and I was like, shit, this nigga could just be lying to me. So I was about to say no. But then I was like, I was like, you know what? Fuck it. She said yes. I said yes. And we were just, okay, we're dating. <laughs> and then we went to another movies a couple of days later. And she was shook. It was a part I told y'all when I said I love you and she was shook as fuck. And she didn't know what happened. And then she was like, shook. And then, yeah. And then after that, it's been pretty good memories. Yeah. So, yeah. You want to say anything, babe? Mm-mm. But, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. These feelings were mixed. <laughs> we just fucking told our whole fucking life story. I mean, well, the story of how we met. We have so many more stories. Y'all just gotta let us know which ones you want to hear. So, yeah. It's another video. Hope y'all enjoyed. <laughs> we fucking suck at this. Have a great day. <laughs>